Okay, so now we're going to discuss um, ways of managing diabetes to a newly diagnosed patient. So after you've explained the pathology of diabetes, hopefully they've understood, make sure you chunk and check. Obviously I can't do that because I'm technically speaking to myself on to a phone. But um, you would definitely chunk and check, make sure they've understood the complications of diabetes, how serious it can be, um, and give them some written information, give them some guidance. So if you'd like any more information, please visit the NHS website. Um, if you have any leaflets in GP, definitely offer them uh, those. Um, and what you would do next is the management. So you would ask them, about their lifestyle so what sort of things do you eat talk me through an average um day daily meal so breakfast lunch dinner snacks in between what sorts of fluids are you drinking are they fizzy drinks is it water um how many sugars do you have in your teas or coffees things like that so make sure you've established that do not forget alcohol wines and many many alcohols contain a lot of sugars um so bear that in mind um things like cocktails they also contain a lot of sugar syrups especially in cocktails um so after you've assessed their dietary intake you can then start to advise them on that so things such as cutting down on any takeaway foods ready-made meals um, sandwiches from Tesco's, things like that, trying to substitute with healthier options, um, increasing the amount of vegetables intake in the day, um, making sure they're five a day, uh, trying to have more vegetables than fruit because fruit also includes a lot of sugars. They contain high amounts of sugars. So it's important to have more broccoli, more cucumber, more salad, things like that, rather than having, you know, more oranges, cherries, etc. Um, once you've told them about their dietary habits, you then move on to their exercise. So how much exercise do you do? They could respond and say, I don't do anything. So you have to probe a little bit more because exercise is pretty much uh, we exercise all the time walking to the bathroom is a form of exercise and walking for half an hour every day is actually quite is actually satisfactory under the nice guidelines so if the person for example is cleaning the house let's say two three times a week i don't know how often people clean their houses but if you're cleaning your house two to three times a week and another two to three times a week you're going to do the shopping or you're going to buy the paper, you're walking your dog, whatever it is you're doing, that is a form of exercise. Um, and people don't really realise that. They think that they're not exercising even though they are doing all of these different things. Um, so just try to incorporate and really encourage the patients to understand that even cleaning for an extra half an hour you know if you're hoovering just maybe put some more into it i don't know um but cleaning itself hoovering itself is a very good form of exercise um walking is really good try and engage and see what the patient enjoys to do themselves so some people will really enjoy swimming so just encourage them tell them that's really good I mean, it's a really good form of exercise um are there any sports you like do you like to play tennis uh do you have any young children could you play football with them in the garden uh go to walk your dog in the park for an extra 15 to 20 minutes things such as um just small bits of motivation can really help and um, once you've done exercise you obviously tell them the guidelines you know what we would recommend is at least half an hour every day um that for us is sufficient enough and we'll see how you get along doing that um, another thing you will be doing is finding out if they smoke because smoking can also increase the risks and complications of diabetes um, so ask and assess for smoking and if they are open to smoking cessation definitely go down that route but this OSCE station would technically just be about diabetes so just make sure you can touch on all these different subjects but don't divulge too much into them.
make sure you have time to cover the rest of your structure once you've done um, their lifestyle diet smoking things like that you would then move on to um, asking them if they would be open to medication and gauge and see how they feel because before you discuss before you tell them to go and change their lifestyle you would like to engage and know and get to know the patient and see whether or not medication is even an option for them and if it isn't then you really need to reiterate the importance of changing their lifestyle regardless of whether they want medication or not you should be reiterating the importance of that and a lot of people have well controlled diabetes just by um, changing their lifestyle routine so these are really important things to do and I think next we will discuss metformin and the pharmacology of metformin and also how to explain and plan metformin for a patient.